As older generation aircraft are phased out, domestic planes face new design and aerodynamic requirements. Previously, the primary criticism of previous generation domestic airliners, like the TU-154 or IL-62, stemmed from their design, which positioned the engines in the tail, leading to problems with the center of gravity. The Sukhoi Superjet 100 and TU-214, two new models, rectified this issue by mounting the engines on the wings. However, the MC-21's designers went a step further, trying to increase aerodynamics by designing a wing with a higher aspect ratio. The MC-21's development of a longer wing revealed that traditional aviation aluminum previously used was unsuitable for the construction of long wings. New technologies and materials were required to attain the necessary qualities of the airplane. Journalist Yegorov from Military Acceptance stated that the Americans acted like Americans and withdrew from the project in 2018. As a result, Improving the aerodynamics of the MC-21 presented unforeseen technological hurdles, necessitating the development of new materials and technologies. The United States has imposed sanctions on the procurement of raw materials for composite material production. In an interview, the new director of Irkut Corporation provided the most recent information on the impact of Western sanctions on the aviation industry. He stated at the time, the economic pressure from Western countries is already appearing in the unwillingness to supply composites for the MC-21 project, generating major issues. The United Aircraft Corporation, which played an important role in the formation of new airlines, encountered unforeseen supply chain issues involving raw materials. Political considerations jeopardized the technological advantages of the unusual composite wing design. Yuri Slyusar stated that this occurrence was the company's first major problem and required a rapid resolution. In 2018, Russia saw an active development of modern composite and wing production technologies. The Alabuga plant uses polymer material from indigenous Russian oil to create unique aviation components like black wings. One such facility is Ulyanovsk's Aero Composite Factory. A stage in the revolutionary production process involves turning carbon fiber into tape, after which a robot uses lasers to lay down dry carbon tape. The robot meticulously constructs the foundation of the eventual 18-meter seamless structure, placing each layer precisely at angles of 90 or 45 degrees to the previous one. These new techniques and technology allow for the production of lightweight yet durable aviation components that fulfill the highest quality and safety standards. The use of local raw materials and domestic production are important factors in the development of Russia's aviation sector. To achieve the necessary strength, the future MC-21 wing component passes through many production phases. First, the component is placed in a vacuum chamber and infused with a specific resin. Then it is heated, increasing its rigidity and hardness. Anatoly Gaidansky, Irkut's first deputy director, spearheaded the advancement of vacuum infusion technology with automated dry material placement for structural components. His claim that no one has ever deployed such technology underscores this accomplishment. Process advancements in Ulyanovsk resulted in not only automation, but also certification, opening up new production opportunities. Thus, current technologies enable the MC-21 wing to have high strength and reliability, which is a significant step forward in the growth of the aviation sector. Innovative production processes and approaches enable the development of higher quality and more advanced goods for future aircraft generations. Let us now talk about the power plant. The new PD-14 engine represents a significant accomplishment in the domestic aviation industry. Initially, the MC-21 was powered by American Pratt & Whitney engines, but in 2019, it was decided to switch to an indigenous power plant. The PD-14's development requires the mastery and improvement of a number of essential technologies. This involved the development of high-temperature alloys, powdered materials, and composite constructions. As a result, the engine became both reliable and inventive. One of the most intriguing steps was the engine's certification. To ensure its safety, experts undertook unusual tests. Using a pneumatic pistol, various items, including ice and bird corpses, were fired at the engine. Engineers also experimented with ash in the gas generator. All of this demonstrated that the PD-14 engine 
can handle even the most harsh flight circumstances. Aircraft outfitted with PD-14 engines obtain the capacity to fly through volcanic ash clouds. This engine not only enhanced technical performance, but also paved the way for greater aviation safety and reliability. The United Engine Corporation and the Perm Motors Venture collaborated on engine development with the goal of producing up to 50 engines annually. In our dreams, we envisioned a program that could generate up to 50 engines per year. But today's reality has surpassed all of our lofty aspirations. Deputy Chief Designer Igor Maximov reports that the civil state order now mandates the production of up to 160 engines annually by 2030. According to the inventors, the PD-14 engine is among the most fuel-efficient, if not the most efficient, in its thrust class. It runs at temperatures above the melting point of steel, thanks to a modern cooling system and a new thermal protective layer. The expansion of engine production in Russia will not only improve aviation technologies and create new jobs, but it will also make the industry more competitive and contribute to the country's economic development. Now, do you think MC-21 and its engine PD-14 are unique? Let us know in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe for more such awesome content. Also, please take our memberships to support us.